Hey you guys, it's your girl Anthony, and today I'll be coming at you with a video from Rodney Dangerfield at the top of his game. Now, I don't know who Rodney Dangerfield is, but when I seen you guys wanted me to check him out, I had to jump on it. I had to. But I'm thinking it's gonna be like my first time ever seeing him. Like, I don't know who he is. Like Maybe if I see him, then I know who he is, and I'm like, oh my god, now I remember who he is. But if you would like to support the channel, my PayPal is in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn notifications on so you can see me. And let's get into this video and leave me them thumbs up. <laughs> let's get into this video. remember this man I remember watching him as a little girl like me and my dad would watch him like me and my dad and my sisters and mom we would watch him I didn't never know his name though I just I just remember his face I, I didn't see him before when I was a little girl <laughs> I'm all right now, but last week I was in rough shape, you know? <laughs> I mean, last week I bought a whirlpool for my bath. So far, I lost three of my best ships. What do you mean? Okay, last week, nothing went right. I bought a waterbed. There were two Cuban guys swimming in it looking for Florida. <laughs> I tell you, people are nuts, you know? My dentist, too, another beauty, my dentist, he found a new way to hide his bad breath. He holds up his arms. Golly. I tell you, I mean, it's wise guys. When I checked in a hotel, I asked the bellhop to handle my bag. He started to feel up my wife. Oh! <laughs> I said to him, I said, hey, buddy, who told you you could play around my wife? He said, everybody. Oh! I tell her, my wife, I can never relax, you know? I told her our kid is spoiled. She told me a lot of kids smell that way. Ah! <laughs> She's a lousy cook, too. She can't cook at all. I leave dental floss in the kitchen, the roaches hang themselves. Golly! My wife, she don't go for me either. I'm not a good-looking guy. Well, Halloween, I open a front door, kids give me candy. Die! You ain't not that are you kidding? I know I'm ugly. My dog found out we look alike. He killed himself. <laughs> he's not ugly. I, was, I know it's just a joke. I know it's a joke. But he should say that. He's not ugly. Dang, the poor dog killed himself. <laughs> yeah, I was an ugly kid, too. My old man took me to the zoo. The guy at the gate thanked him for returning me. Oh. And I was a very ugly kid. Every time my old man wanted sex, my mother showed him my picture. Turned him away. I was a very ugly kid. In my sandbox, the cat kept covering me up all the time, you know? Oh. Well, when I was a kid, nobody was nice. I was six years old. I found out there's no such thing as Alpo baby food. Look at that, you dog food. So sad. I mean, nobody was nice. My mother never breastfed me. She told me she liked me as a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had a rough. I told my old man I'm sick and tired of running around in circles. He got mad. He nailed down my other foot. <laughs> I mean, that's destroying my life. No respect. I don't get no respect at all. Are you kidding? Respect it all. Well, when I was born, the doctor told my mother I did all I could, but he pulled through anyway, you know? Oh! That's so sad. Yeah, I don't get no respect from anyone. Well, last week my house was on fire. My wife told the kids, be quiet, you wake up daddy. They're gonna leave me in a half burning. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey, I'll do a few 
more minutes. Yeah. yeah. How you doing? You look oh, good. Good to see you. Whatever. Okay. How you doing? Oh, I never said whatever. Good, good, good. I've seen you for a while. I've been around. Yeah. Yeah. I've been keeping busy, you know, running around a bit. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll be back in New York tomorrow at my club for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and I'll be in the Riviera Hotel July 31st for a week, and I'm going out to Green Bay, Wisconsin, and Carlton West, I'll be over there, yeah. and uh, Wisconsin. It's nice out there, you know? Yeah. You're up in Nebraska, it's That's nice. Right. Midwest is nice. You, you know? like Midwest, huh? Yeah, I wish I came Midwest sometimes, <laughs> you know? Oh, I, Midwest, I lived in a nice, small, adjusted town, you know? I had a wooden frame house with a screen door in the back of the kitchen. My brother and sister were Marianne and Biff. <laughs> <laughs> And dad was vice president of the bank, worked there for 30 years, very adjusted man, dad, never smokes, drinks, or gambles, you know. Then you read about these guys. Well, then he pick up an axe and wipe out the whole family, you know? So <laughs> <are> we <laughs> I Yeah, the next day the cops come around. What happened here? What kind of man was he? He was a quiet man. You know? uh. oh. But I've been bouncing around a lot. I've been yeah. plugging my album. I've got a new album out, no yeah, respect. It's sort of, yeah, yeah, so it's that going well, is it? It's going real good. It's uh, on the charts, a bullet, whatever that means, you know? Oh, right. And uh, do you hold up the backside too, do you have them? Yes, you do. I don't know what you're doing. You back? This. Yeah, it's a cute little thing there. Now you can understand about no respect. You see that? Oh! Golly. I got no respect here in California either, I'll tell you really? that. Really? Yeah, uh, I got stuck the other day, you know. I wanted to go sightseeing. They took me on a tour of all the extras' houses. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's on, definitely, isn't oh, yeah, it? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah but, uh, <laughs> now, but I'm running around, I gain weight back, Johnny. Really? You know what I mean? Hey, you don't eat yes. properly, you know. You're running around all the time, you know, and I. And it's tough to, you know, lose weight when you're all jumping around a bit, you know. And uh, but I was much heavier. I was fat, you kid. I was so fat when I got my shoes shine, I had to take the guy's word for it. I mean, I was fat. I'll tell you Golly. That. I've been out with some fat girls too. I'll tell you that. Who? <laughs> now, one girl, she was so fat, she got in a scale. A card came out, said one at a time. You know? It is. Man. She was fat. That is a big girl. Uh. Remember how we met? I hit her with my car. She said, "Me once go around me." I told her, "Didn't think I had enough gas." <laughs> So she was a wild girl, I tell you. Very wild girl. Ooh, she was. You can, well, she made me French toast. Her tongue got caught in a toaster. She was She come way. Now, but I tell you, too skinny's no good either, you know. No, 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 no. no good to be too skinny. You know, a guy died my block last week. Was he skinny? Ooh. Skinny, huh? He was so skinny. The funeral had one pallbearer, a waiter. You know. <laughs> Golly. Nah, but skinny's better than fat, I'll tell you that. Right. Better, be better for your health, you know, health. And that's what's important, your health. health. You're, oh, oh, yeah. you kidding? I'm not a kid anymore. I'm getting old now. Yeah. I know I'm getting old. I'm at the age now, if I hear someone goes both ways, I figure it's number one and number two, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Take care of my health. I told you, if I saw my doctor last week, Dr. Vinny Mumbat, you know, my doctor, I saw him last week. He's not so on the scene, and I asked him if uh, my heart was strong enough for sex, you know. He told me not if I join in. Ah! Uh, <laughs> uh, I tell you, Johnny, I told you, it's tough to be funny when you're coming off drugs, I'll tell you that. Oh. Tough, I'll tell you, that's tough, Johnny. I tell you, though, Johnny, the first time I tried marijuana, I had a wonderful experience. Yeah. I actually had a wonderful sexual experience. Really? I only wish I'd been someone there to enjoy it with me, that's all, you know? Oh. That's so sad. Now, I was a kid, Johnny. I would kill you crazy things when you were a kid, you know? I was a very green kid, too, a very oh. green kid. Remember the first time I had sex with a girl? I was so confused. I didn't know what to do, you know? Yeah. I died uh. five, 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 one, two, one, two. Now, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> that time will be bothering you. I'd make it with Steve Martin, you know that? <laughs> Actually, he's. That tie must be bothering his neck. He keep grabbing at the tie. Like, he ready to... Oh, he look like he ready to get out that suit. Like, he... Like, I can tell he's Italian. And so, they like they, they had, like, their shirts always like this. They don't like nothing up on their neck. They be like, come on. I'm ready to get out this suit, da. My second choice. Oh. <laughs> uh, look at him looking. <laughs> No offense. All right. <laughs> and uh, so quiet. I feel like E.F. Hutton just spoke, you know? 
Got a cigarette, okay? Right. You don't mind, do you? You should give that up. I got a crazy doctor told me to keep smoking if I want to stop chewing gum, so what the heck? <laughs> How long do you expect to be in Shanghai? Ah! <laughs> that ain't pulling that cigarette. Oh, yeah, the movie came out. It was a big movie, big movie. It's uh, 843 pages. Oh. No, it's a movie called Caddyshack. Phyllis wrote Animal House wrote it, and uh, it opens Friday around the whole country, and there's a... Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's uh, doing real good. Everyone likes it. It's really funny. Big, it? Yeah, it came out real good. It was a good part, you know, and... Uh, I play the part of a nouveau riche ignoramus who invades a nice sensitive country club and I don't belong in that country club and Ted Knight is not, he, don't, we, he and I don't get along at all in the movie, yeah. you know, and it's a good movie. Chevy Chase is in it and Bill Murray is, and a lot of nice people and it's a, actually it's a low budget movie. He went to location by Subway. <laughs> <laughs> we, have a, we have a film clip. Oh yeah, we have a film clip too. I just hey, I'm in the movies. <laughs> Can we take a look at it? Okay, we'll see what happens. This is the opening where I make my entrance okay. in this movie, the country club. Yeah. This from Caddyshack. Caddyshack. <laughs> yeah, I can park my car, get my bags, and put on some weight, will you? Golly. Hey, Wang, what's with the pictures? It's a parking lot. Come on, will you? <laughs> I think this place is restricted, Wang, so don't tell me you're Jewish. Okay, fine. Hey, kid, I'm Al Chervik. I'm playing with Drew Scott today. This is my guest, Mr. Wang. No offense. Oh, I can give me half a half of those, those Vulcan D10s and set my friend up here with the whole schmear. You know, clubs, bags, shoes, gloves, shirt, pants. Oh, don't make the pants too tight. You'll hurt his fortune cookie. Uh. Oh, by the way, want one of those things to tell you how far you walked? Mr. Chen, you're, sorry, I didn't see you. Oh, how are you? Hey, orange balls. I'll have a box of those. Me a box of those naked lady tees. And give me two of those. Give me six of those. Hey, I'll buy out the joint, Wang. Stop me, will you? Oh, this is the worst-looking hat I ever saw. Well, you buy a hat like this, I'll bet you get a free bowl of soup, huh? Oh. Oh. oh he got out. you, though. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord. It's soft the man. I, uh, thank you very much. It's, the movie is longer than that, really. Oh, God. <laughs> is this your first picture? No, I made a movie years ago called The uh, Projectionist, and uh, it uh, never got out of the projection booth. Yeah. Oh. I remember that picture. It's around. You remember that? Yeah. You're the one who saw it. Did not do uh, big at the box office. It was big in Paris, believe it or not, yeah. with uh, French titles, yeah. And uh, that was the end of that movie, I guess. Which yeah. It's around still, I You're guess. You gonna make somewhere. some more pictures? Well, I've had numerous offers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I want to do. I like live entertainment, you yeah, know what I mean? Every, movies are director's medium, really, you know? But I was brought up in clubs, you know, like what Dominic's Black and Blue Room, Teresa's Fun House, where you have to really uh, <laughs> go in it live, you know? Carmine's Cave, all those nice places, you know? <laughs> Well, you get an immediate feedback, you know, from Reggie's the audience. Reggie's ravioli room, all of those people. Reggie's places. ravioli room. You hey, that you think pretty good. A lot of people like being, like, stand up and, like, do it. They don't really like the movie parts. Like, I can't blame it. I'd rather have live, you know, like, audience and stuff like that, too, other than a movie. Because then you got somebody else's material. But when you, like, when you're a comedian, you can have your own material when you're doing stand up. You can do your own material. People can tell you if they like it or not. And you'll be like, okay, this a hit and this not. So I go with this joke the next. So I can understand why he said he would rather not do movies. But he was, I thought he was pretty good in his movie. But he just talked a lot. Talked real fast. Not a lot, but real fast. Good. You're all right, right, you know. <laughs> Let me do this. We'll be right back with Arnold DeBoer's show. Yeah. So that was the end of that. And like I said, I remember this man, but I remember him, was he, wasn't he bigger at one point? I was, I thought he was like older and kind of bigger than that. Cause I remember his face from being a little child. But that brings us to the end of the video, you guys. And let me know how y'all liked it there. Because I really enjoyed him. He was funny. I liked when he had play like he gonna rub that man on. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, you guys.